uh, the one thing that hasn't come up yet, and I, I think we should say a bit about that, and that, so I don't know what you're doing, whether you're doing this in other areas, Nancy, but we've now relieved one of my staff members who was trying to do web design, uh, create graphics, and do payroll, and math, you know, because when you're small, you do it all. And if there were bathrooms to clean, we would do that. And, the, and so we now ha are working with a consultant who comes in once a week for basically around six or seven hours and does all of our bookkeeping and accounting and has relieved her. And it wasn't her forte. She did the best she knew how to do, but I think she spent so many hours every week trying to relearn something that he can just do like that. And so one of the things that I hope you keep building on is those kinds of resources that not for purpose don't have to employ individually, but that we can buy into. You know, I just met with somebody the other day, and he said, well, who's your biz dev, dev person? I said, biz dev? You know, a business, de and business development. It's like, you're not big enough to have a business development person. And then he said, well, who does your benefits? So it's like, I mean, I, I, what planet are you on? You know, so that, <laughs> but if, if ESC decided to offer more human I mean, HR kind of stuff, or off, that we don't need to hire that and or expect someone to learn that, who really we hired to be the receptionist. I mean, so that, I guess that's a piece that I think, beyond just some of this board development and which is in strategic planning, but how do we as not-for-profits consolidate some of these skills without having to or purchase them from others. And that, to me, that is a winner. Um, we're spending a lot less money on much more competent bookkeeping help. Much less. Nancy, why don't you talk to the programs that you have that are like the financial? Well, that, that really is the only back okay. office program we have right now is bookkeeping. And um, Sue's one of uh, 12 or 13 organizations right now that are taking advantage of that. And her story is exactly the story we, we wanted to hear, which is uh, we, you know, this relieved somebody of doing this in-house who wasn't really uh, comfortable doing it, it wasn't their forte. We now pay for it, we get better quality services and it's costing us less. I mean, you couldn't have a better value proposition <laughs> than that, right? And we hear that from, from other clients. So we're, we've been able to return that. We. Um, we are working right now on the concept of back office HR because 80% of nonprofits have no designated HR person and um, no, um, no yeah. benefits to offer them. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> and so we're we're working at that and and we're thinking about other uh, other back office things that we might do in the future. But it's a it's a great um, uh, you know missing piece of the puzzle, a big missing piece of the puzzle. Uh, for nonprofit organizations is the average nonprofit in our state that is a 501c3 but not a university or a hospital or the Gates Foundation um, and is big enough to have some revenue and report revenue to the IRS has a budget of a hundred thousand dollars and in King County it's going to be slightly bigger than that but um, and a hundred thousand dollars you don't have a biz dev person you don't have an HR person you know you don't have a finance manager so um, there's a lot of really good work done by small nonprofits. I'm a big advocate. I don't think every nonprofit needs to be a big nonprofit. Uh, I don't think they all need to get together and become four big nonprofits in the, you know, <laughs> in the city or anything like that. Uh, there's a lot of good work that's done by small nonprofits, but they need access to these basic infrastructure services. And for me, the other thing was that um, Dwayne had already been vetted. So, I mean, I don't employ, I mean, I have a contract with ESC, kind of the opposite sort of relationship, so that, you know, I interviewed a fair number of bookkeepers uh, prior to realizing I could do this, get this service, and, you know, checking references, bookkeeping again is not my forte. I know when the books don't balance, but that, but, you know, I, I, so I basically I checked some of his references, but I also knew that Nancy had hired him and that she was had to be accountable for him. So it saved me a whole step of that worrying about um, that we just don't have that capacity to even evaluate that. So, um, yeah, I, I really wasn't paid to say this, but it, it truly is. <laughs> it's amazing how, you know, it's $45 an hour for bookkeeping and we get, you know, six hours a week. I mean, it's, she was costing us a lot more and trying her best, but 
she didn't know how to do it always. And she learned, but all the time involved in learning. We should have done that much sooner. And bookkeeping is complicated. It is, and the rules for not-for-profits are all changing.